YouTube family, welcome to another episode of Life with Genesee G. Y'all, we just, listen, we just want to give y'all something. We, of course, y'all probably asking where have they been. They haven't posted any videos. But, it's been, we've been moving, moving and shaking, moving and shaking. So, yeah, you know, we're back here. Um where we both live like full time. We're, we're back here for a couple of days and then we're back on the plane um, for work, All right? So, you know, just a day in the life with us and I'm gonna see what Jen's doing. See what, I think she's in there doing her makeup, but uh, I'll see y'all just in a second. How you feeling, baby? Oh my God, you scare me. We tired, y'all. It's been a long August. Oh my god. I'm on cloud nine still. It is the new journey. The new chapter. I'm a fiance. Address me properly. I'm a fiance. She here getting dolled up, y'all. Well, babe, I want to always look good for you, darling. I know you like me without makeup. But. This is this is y'all's first time seeing Jen do her own makeup. Oh yeah. So y'all, it's not just a makeup artist in the house every day. Jen, <laughs> Jen does know how to do her makeup. I just do a little one two. I'm kind of in a rush. Babe, it gotta be stressful to. You know, ladies, how do how do y'all deal with all this shit? Look at this shit. <laughs> Babe, and I'm mad you're over here because it looks like all crazy right now. It's all good. Well, you know, we're not, it's, it's all good. Because we've been like freaking everywhere. We've been traveling, so we got to get back on the plane in what, two days? Yep. Gotta go right back onto Wait, the plane. I need to do my eyebrows because I'm about to go get my eyebrows done so it doesn't, you know, make sense. But I'm trying to hurry up, babe, because we need to leave. Y'all know the vibes, man. Come on now. Y'all know the vibes. I'm so glad we don't have to drive. Take a break from driving. Because y'all know I'll be the one driving. Yeah, you know it's crazy in Atlanta right now. It's like a hurricane passing through. It's crazy, so. We got a lot of stuff to do. We gotta pack, repack. So we can head back to LA on Saturday. I'm not really packing anything. You're not packing? It's no need for me to pack. I have a bunch of stuff there that I need to bring back. Oh, I think I'm, I, I do need to pack a blazer for the Beyonce concert. Yeah, I need to figure out the look. The Beyonce. Look. Good old ATL. We are at the bank. Ooh, ooh. Excited. Time for me to take all his money. <laughs> and with that, all right, family, we just left the bank. Well, Jennifer left before me because she had to go to her eyebrow appointment. But um, we got the account open for Life with Jenna CG. Yeah. I made my baby the member, and I'm just a signer, you know what I'm saying? Because she handles all the money now. So, uh, Basically, my wallet is hers. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all good, man. We making moves. I'm actually about to walk up to this eyebrow joint now. I think we might go get some food after because I know we're both starving. I'm starving. I know she's starving. And we don't need Jennifer getting angry. All right. So, yeah. That was super easy because we both already have... Um, business enterprise at Council Bank of America, so super easy. It was like 20 minutes. So, yeah, but uh, I'm super excited about what's to come for me and Jen. Uh, we have a lot of things in the works as far as business goes, purchasing real estate, buying land, uh, just really um, elevating as a black couple. So, yeah, I'm super, super excited to embark on this journey and show you and bring you guys along and show you guys, um, you know, you can do it too, not only by yourself, but when you have that partner that literally wakes you up, that drives you, and, um, you know, 
you want to position both of you to get to that place of just success, not just financially, but spiritually, emotionally, physically, right? So uh, Jennifer and I are being a pillar and being that example to show you guys you can do it too. All right, so I'm about to walk in here and check on her um, and I need to pay for her eyebrows. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Yo, if y'all, if y'all, listen, if y'all need to fix y'all fucking face, come to Gigi you Brown. Know what? <laughs> hey. Your face is crazy. Listen. I'm back. Can't tell her nothing. Back. Now it's time to go eat. Please get me some food ASAP. You gonna be nice to me again? I'm always nice to you, baby. Gotta get some food now, y'all. Oh, thank you. We oh. made it. Oh. We made it. We made it. By Jennifer's wife, Jennifer is showing it. She thinks she'd be hungry. She ordered a whole menu. Watch it. <laughs> and she gonna take five bites and be like, I'm full. Cool. <laughs> such a hectic month y'all oh my gosh it's been Super. crazy man it's been so crazy but nonetheless we um we have finally got some time to really spend i mean we're together all the time anyway but it's been like work jennifer working i'm working traveling rover had his first flight but we oh my god. It was just so, like, we had to get him checked in. It was just so much going on. Yeah, it was a so. lot. And we had a red eye. So, let me give you guys a little timeline. So, sorry if we have checked out for a couple days on YouTube, but it's just been a complete whirlwind. We got engaged. So, today is Thursday. We got engaged Friday. I had to film a scene for Basketball Wives, do an interview for Basketball Wives, catch a flight Saturday night, a red-eye flight to Charlotte. That was Roby's first flight. So we had a red-eye flight from LA to Charlotte with the dog. Got to Charlotte like 7.30. Um, checked into the hotel. Had to be at a brunch for Shanquilla Robertson at Robinson at like 1 30 2 o'clock yes spoke on a panel with Tamika Mallory one of my amazing friends the family her attorney did the brunch went to go have drinks on a rooftop went to dinner then went to a little party caught a flight the next day to Atlanta it was a hurricane brewing Mm -hmm. So, you know, of course, everybody wants to see us because we just got engaged. So we have people over at the house. We've just been nonstop. So today was like my maintenance day. I had to get my nails done, my eyebrows done. We had to go open a bank account and we found the aid. So I'm happy about that. Now we're back home, relaxing, having a glass of wine. Tommy full. <laughs> Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah. I get to like Wusa. I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe like watch a movie. This one, I, for some reason, I feel like I'm gonna be back out in the street. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, whatever. It's no, like... I'm cool with like staying home. We're downstairs in a media room. This is like the cloud where you literally go to sleep so i got the itis from last night 
Like, y'all, we went to uh, look at a venue. Oh, yes. Uh, for our I totally forgot about that. Yeah, we, looked, we went to, last night we looked at a venue for our engagement party. Um, it was kind of like a cocktail hour with our closest family, closest friends. So, you know, of course, planning a proposal um, for my men out there that, that go through that with their, you know, soon to be fiance. It's a, it's a lot of moving parts because I just wanted to make it special for Jen. So of course I had to get Mission all of her friends. I got all her friends out there, but we wanted to do something um, in a city that we live in pretty much full time. So we wanted to pretty much bring everybody in one room, let everyone socialize, celebrate the engagement. And then of course we go directly into wedding planning uh, because we're getting married overseas in Paris. So it's gonna be a lot of moving parts. And of course, you know, with the, with the, cocktail, um, the cocktail hour, with the engagement party, we're gonna bring you guys along with us. Uh, we'll have someone filming it and uh, we'll get it put up on the channel. We got some dope stuff coming too. Um, yeah, so it's we, just been, yeah, it's, yeah. it's been an eventful, the past month has been so crazy for me just with work and I know it's been crazy for Christian because he's been planning a surprise proposal that I had no idea. So we just both have been very busy doing <laughs> different things and we haven't really had a chance to woosa and take it all in i'm still processing what happened on friday i'm on cloud nine i'm like wait I, I i start to like remember bits and pieces that i forgot about i'm like oh wait this happened and wait how did you do this so it, i'm still processing it all like wow this is really happening we're about to do our engagement party. It's just, yeah, it's, it's a lot going on. So we have a new dog. <laughs> it's just like. Yo, this is like, this is my fiance. Like, and I, I, it brings me so much joy to wake up and she's like, good morning, fiance. And I'm just like, good morning, fiance. <laughs> It's like no longer like boyfriend, girlfriend, you know. Which I hate that term. It's so it just like seems, middle school, man. Right. It seems just so uh, childish. But yes, this is my fiance. I'm like introducing. This is my fiance. This is my fiance. Talk to my fiance. <laughs> so. Oh, it looks so good on her, man. What y'all think? You want to put it closer? Let me see. Let me see. See if I can. What y'all think? Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, he did a, he did a really good job with the ring. It's bling blinging. So, I, yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been quite a whirlwind for us, but we definitely wanted to check in and also say thank you for all of the support. We see the messages, we can't respond to everybody, but we definitely, we feel the love and we appreciate that. And we're so looking forward to this next chapter. I'm so excited that I found my forever. It's just like, wow, this is, this is my person. We already do everything together, yeah. but it's, it's official. It's official. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm took her off the market. <laughs> Shit, I took me off the market. You know what I'm saying? Like you, yeah. You, 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 you really kind of still on the market in, until you take that step. So, exactly. you know, it's nothing better than just having that partner um, that you could do everything with, share life with, um, start multiple businesses with, buy real estate with, buy land with. Uh, I was so excited today. We, you know, we opened up our joint account because now it's a unit. We're one, and um, it's. You know, we're just taking those steps early, like we're seeking premarital counseling, you know what I mean? Because uh, Jen and I have discussed, you know, there's no there's no such thing as divorce in this relationship. Um, and, it sh and I feel like that it should be that way all across the board, especially African-American marriages, you know. I grew up watching divorce and, you know, within my family, my mother, my father. So, you know, I, you know, and, and I can speak for myself. I just wanted to, I want to break that generational curse. And, um, you know, this is like, I guess I'll return, I'll return it back to you, baby. You are my person and I don't have a desire to seek out anywhere else. Jennifer gives everything plus times a thousand. Uh, she shows up, she's super consistent. 
she drives me to be a better person, um, a better man, and just a, a just a better human being. You know, just walking this planet. So. Um, my, my job is, and one thing I said during the proposal, of course you guys will see that later, but one thing I said, um, I said three things, I promised to protect, provide, and lead. Protect, provide, and lead, right? A lot of, a lot of women, there's a lot of women out there that put this wall up and there's no submissiveness simply because they don't have a leader. They may have a band, but men, we have to be in the position to lead. If you're not leading me, your woman's not going to submit. So you're begging and saying, oh, I wish you would be submissive and, and take this hard shell off of you. That's really the, it's no secret. I mean, it's literally, hey, step up, lead, be consistent, show up, reassure your woman that you love her, that you care, that you're there. And um, I understand that things happen. Sometimes you make promises and life happens and, you know, but there's other ways that we can compensate and, uh, you know, can continue to keep our women happy. So I love you. Cheers again, baby. Cheers. I'm, I'm on a cloud. I, I like posted, <laughs> I posted on my story and I was just like, man, posted a picture of Jen, like one of my favorite pictures I took of her when we were in Vegas. I was just like, man, I can't believe this is my fiance. Like I'm on a cloud. And, um, I mean, shit, thank you for choosing me. You know, I ain't the, I ain't the most perfect I ain't the most perfect. Nobody's butter, but, perfect, babe. Nobody's but perfect. But you're perfect to me, though. You're exactly. Perfect to me. I, you're, and me. You're, you're perfect to me and for me. So you just have to find your perfect person. And it doesn't mean that they're going to be perfect. They're going to be perfect for you because we all have flaws. We all have some form of quote unquote baggage. Everybody has been through something. And especially at this point of our lives, like nobody is freaking 17. So everybody has a history, a past. It's just really finding that person that you connect with, your morals are aligned, your principles are aligned, and you have a vibe with. It really is all about energy. Yeah and we we have all of those things like we we yearn to be together when we're apart and we we just it, it just it just works you know and it's so, effortless right it's effortless and we both are really really committed to making it work we don't bless you baby thanks baby we don't there's there's nothing really to argue about. I mean, most people know me, I'm not a confrontational person, but it's we don't really even have those issues, so. No, because we, we talk, we talk about it. We're adults, we're not kids. And I refuse to argue with my partner. I will argue with a stranger, right? And nine times out of 10, you probably wouldn't even get a response to me as a stranger. Like, what am I arguing with the adult for or, you know, someone that I don't really, know or care about so uh with my partner if there's something that's bothering me or if there's something that's bothering her because i under i know when jen is just irritated and it's crazy because even a week the week of the engagement me knowing that i'm going to propose to her on friday she was like overwhelmed i wouldn't say she was stressed she was just over, it was just so much work and i just have so much respect for you baby because you get up, you put your feet on the ground, and there's no fucking excuse. She gets up and she goes to work. She grinds um, and she uh, puts one foot in front of the other. So, you know, I just know, I said, listen, I just, me telling myself, I'm like, I can't wait until Friday. Cause I was like, all oh, her friends are here. Her loved ones. Unbeknownst like, to me. Yeah, you know, planning that. They pulled the wool over my eye. <laughs> yes, man. I can't wait. Like literally, I wish I could drop it, but we can't because there's some stuff with the networks and all that stuff. But it's coming. I can't wait for you guys to experience that. I mean, you're gonna feel it through the screen, man. Like it's it's such a beautiful evening, and you know, um, yeah, you know, we we uh, we do this channel because we want to show you guys. You know, even though you can't feel us, see us, or you can see us through the screen, but just. Uh, we want you guys to know that there is someone out there for you. Uh, we didn't we didn't ask for this. Um, we it's like we of course we all want true love and we want genuine effortless love. But I never was seeking Jen. Jen wasn't seeking CG. It just happened for us to be in the same room and that vibe was there and you know. Yeah, the rest is history, the rest is history. and we're actually going 
on month number nine month number nine we're about to celebrate that i don't know what we're gonna do because it's just been like one celebration after another celebration but you know i always say life is meant to be lived and why not celebrate did you love a poem i wrote you before i proposed oh my god the poem was i wish i could read it to y'all it was I took and listen, weeks to the poem it. was so heartfelt, and during the poem, he would interject like, don't get nervous, I'm not pro proposing today, and I'm like, okay. It was just, yeah. I was, it was proposing words. Right, I'm like. I was trying to, I had to throw her off, like, yo, I'm, I'm not like, proposing okay, today. I'm like, okay, maybe this is a commitment to, I don't, it was just crazy. But yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see. I'm not gonna give it away, but I'm yeah, I'm still I'm still on cloud nine. So I just wanna, you know, apologies for not dropping an episode sooner. It's just been a whole whirlwind. But like I said, we see you guys. I appreciate the love, the support. I feel it. I know that you guys see the smile on me, the joy. So many people have told me like, oh my God, Jennifer, we could tell you're like really, really happy. One of my, it's so crazy. One of my friends that I went to college with today, she reached out to me. She's like, girl, I have known you for years and I have never seen you this happy. I can tell by your aura, the smile on your face, like you truly are happy. And this is somebody that really knows me you know like she she hasn't been around me in a while but like she i consider her family i know yeah. her family and so it was nice to see that and and i get that often like even Gigi, she was like my my eyebrow and it's a lot of Gigi's around here yeah 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 um she was like no i can tell you you're really happy and she was like even some of my clients that know you they come in and like wow Jennifer is really happy so I appreciate that you guys can see that because I really am happy and when you're happy on the inside I believe it radiates to the outside so I'm glad that you guys see that but we are checking in with our YouTube family and we love y'all man yeah we definitely love you guys again we appreciate all the support and we're just you know we're, we're still on this cloud so i was trying to do my fashion five friday but it's been so much going on so i think i'm probably gonna have to skip a week but i promise i'll be back next friday with a fashion five and it'll be a good one it's gonna be great it's always great with you <laughs> jennifer be putting it on Put it on. I'm doing it on the somebody side. said, um, somebody said CG should do mm. Sexy Sunday? Nah. <laughs> swag something Saturdays. Mm. It was like swag something Saturdays or I don't know that second word, but it was swags or sexy swag Saturday? Something. Something. I, I, I don't know. I gotta go back to the comments and I promise y'all like I, I'm always even telling them, I'm like, babe, we gotta respond to the people. But listen, we have loyal fans, super loyal fans. We have those subscriptions where if you are a part of, literally up under our videos, there's a way for you to click on it. And it's like loyal fans, super loyal fan. If you go and subscribe to that, we have like perks where we're gonna literally be responding to certain people, following them on social media. Um, it's also special something shout out. special shout outs is going to be something where we could do live streams with those people answer them like literally be on a live stream in real time answer their questions that they may have and um, no we don't have it all together we're not here to be your therapist or your counselor but we're just walking you and showing you our journey and um, you know hoping that we can spread more love just in relationships and right yeah we're black not... love is so powerful and we're here to uplift you know I get it everybody has their opinions but we're we're not here for that like we're, we're blocking out all the negative noise and we want to support other people that are on their journey to black love and we want people to know that black love is alive it's thriving it exists 
and you need to be open to what that looks like because everybody has this fairy tale it doesn't come wrapped up in a bow of what you think it's supposed to look like be open to what god sent you that's good baby that's good jennifer be teaching don't she once in a while I'll drop a little jewel <laughs> she be teaching so she teach me so yeah babe i don't um i'm not sure what what the night holds yeah, we um we're gonna talk about it as soon as I as soon as we wrap here and it's still kinda early mm -hmm. and we're still yeah. celebrating. We're gonna celebrate for the rest of our lives though. So we celebrate <laughs> life part. every day. We're gonna be celebrating our engagement until we get married and then we're gonna celebrate our marriage for the rest of our life. Don't stop celebrating your partner. That is number one in your relationship, in your marriage, in your engagement, whatever it is, celebrate your partner every day. Buy them gifts, physical touch, words of affirmation, reassure them. I don't care if you cook them dinner, cook them, whatever it is, make them a fucking sandwich. Do something to celebrate your partner. Let them know that you love them, you care about them. Because family, I do, I've never been married before, but I do understand just by being around a lot of married couples, relate, marriage is powerful. The two, it's, it's, it's honored by God and I love God. I talk about God on pretty much every video that I post, right? And um, I know God favors me as a as a man, you know, um, being loyal, being faithful to my black queen, my black woman. So I'm the luckiest man in the world. I was just telling Jen in the car, you know, a lot of people throw that shit around, but I'm like, you know, you lying, bro. <laughs> you know, she get on your, you know what I'm saying? Like Jen is an angel in human form and Aww. I am, I'm, I'm gonna be on a cloud for the rest of my life. This this doesn't die down. Like I'm, I smile when I look at her. I always I'm always kissing on her. I'm always grabbing her ass. I like I I, come, I just want to jump inside your skin. You know why are you blushing? <laughs> blushing. You're so crazy. I just want to crawl up inside her skin, dog. <laughs> But yeah, baby, I love you so much. Oh, and um, too, this wraps up our day in the life with Jen and CJ. We're gonna bring you a lot of boy, we we getting ready and all that stuff. It's gonna we're gonna drop videos on we got so much coming, y'all. This is just our first month on this new channel. We like literally we started August 1st and now we're going into September. So. I know, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So thank y'all for being so loyal. Um, and, and baby, you, you wanna you wanna go ahead and let them know, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Yes, definitely. Um, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Turn them on. Because we are in the building. We'll definitely have much more great content for you. And again, we we thank you and we love you guys and we appreciate the support. So we will see you next time.